Oh man. Be bailing. Last day at iCast. First day was pretty cool. Got a lot of cool stuff done. Launched a bunch of new projects. Yeah. Hey, what's up, addicts? Welcome to iCast. This is the last day that we're here. Today, we're just gonna be kind of going around, talking to different partners that we have, hopefully showing you guys some of their new products. So stay tuned for this little vlog today, and thanks so much for tuning in. All right, guys, 2019 iCast. We are here at Canon, and of course, walking by and being the down here guy that I like to do a lot of kokanee fishing with, I don't even know. Like, I've got a digital screen here. I've got a whole new, uh, the Optimum TS series. I'm like, I'd like to hear the rundown on exactly what's going on here with some of this new technology that gets introduced into the Canon line. Great, so. we, I'd love to talk about it. Um, again, this is our Canon Optimum. We have Optimum, Optimum TS. Um, really the only difference between the two is uh, the color and um, the white one has got stainless steel uh, spool on it. So that's the big difference there. Otherwise, electronics, everything else inside, uh, feature set, is all identical. Um, so what we've done is we've definitely given this thing a total upgrade over our existing product. We got a full color display and uh, integrated keypad. Um, everything's all electronic. You can go in here, we can do um, screen changes. So you can view different information on the screen um, to suit the needs of the fishermen. Here we have what we call our preset depth button. So if you push this, you can go into preset depths. You can define all of these here. We can change the screen um, to show sonar. We have an optional unit where we can plug the sonar into the downrigger. That will give you the feature of bottom tracking. So basically what that'll let you do is run the downrigger ball X number of feet off the bottom. So you could set that to 10 feet and it will follow the bottom contour of the, the lake that you're on. This is a full 2D sonar screen. So you'll actually see fish on here, you'll see um, structure on here, just like you would a, a normal fish finder. So these downriggers will talk wirelessly with each other. It will talk wirelessly with a phone app, and eventually we will have a talking to the fish finder and that'll be available in the spring. Will you be able to bring up your like your Solex screen onto this or will this just remain the 2D This finder? will remain the 2D information. The Solex um, and Helix um, that you'll have on the screen will be very similar to the app. So okay. let's talk about the app for a second. This is a free app that you can download off uh, your app store. It's either for iOS or um, Android devices. Um, so right here we can see that we got the network paired together. You can see both downriggers where we're at. You can have different screens on here as well. Um, if you want to change information or change settings on the downrigger, that can all be done through the app. You just go in here. Which downrigger do you want to talk to? We'll just pick number one. We go into remote mode and we can go up and down. Sneak these guys in on this one. So really a lot of integration here. Um, it's uh, very interesting. If you go to canondownriggers.com, you can certainly look at more features and uh, do your research and look at everything we got. We also will have links for um, uh, how-to videos and um, feature demonstrations in further detail. There wasn't much uh, you guys didn't think of for sure, and I like that quick execution stuff because in the fisheries we participate in over in the Northwest, you know, like I said, you're, you're need to get down there fast, you need to be efficient. So That's right. There's no question that I like that uh, that memory on dropping right back down into those kokanee that we were getting down there. So thank you very much. Great, thank you. Yep, Appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good day. Yikes. So this is a G4 Pro shift pack, so this is like your What's all day. Short? Is that a little fanny pack? I don't know what it is. <laughs> I haven't seen it I'm yet. Not sure. I'm not sure if anybody knows. <laughs> no, this is actually out on the market right now too. So, um, oh sorry. So this thing pulls out. And so this oh, is wow. now your, you got your boxes, maybe camera too, camera guys. You got this here and then, you know, your workstation and then you just 
swivel it back, and then this thing. Back up, that's so soda. Like, yep. Yep. Lattes. <laughs> and then this thing snaps right back in here, and this, well, I don't know, it's not necessary yeah. now, but. But those are, so those are already in. This thing clicks right here, so you just go boom, click this down, pull this around, and you're right in it. I use this for two weeks in New Zealand every day, and it's, it's as good as you think it's gonna be. It and you doesn't can load have, it down. You can load it down. The, the top pocket's not massive, which is almost good, um, but it's got enough storage for, you know, all your top pocket here, maps, sunglasses, that stuff. And, and then, the best feature, right? yeah. Yeah, and then you can attach all the cam straps. The landing net. Yep. Landing that goes, landing straight, that goes straight through here. Oh. Boom, right down here. That's oh. another great feature. You got big ass nets here, or you can just put a layer back there and stuff it in there. And do that. That'd be a cool one to get you guys, you know, one or, one or two of those. So, yeah. people got and then that. good amount of room for extra layers, lunch, that type of stuff. Um, kind of great sucks. walk, weight pack. Yeah. What yeah. you guys are going to be doing, you might have to have an AK, something waterproof. It's not waterproof, but um, I can tell you, I've been in the rain and it's highly water resistant. Right. That so that's a Jeep Pro one, ship pack. Again, there's so many things that I just saw. It's like, why did it take that long? <laughs> I know. Who came up with these ideas? That's so awesome. Right, right. I would have never thought of it. Yeah. No stitching in the body of this whole thing here. So it's be completely bomber. All these hidden guides and everything like this. Um, really lightweight bomber heel cup. And then we have this new cleat system here, which these have a, like a, um, these are set pre screwed in there, yeah. pre-threaded. And then they have little um, temporary um, screws you put in there if you don't want to use the the, uh, the cleats or the studs and if you do you back those out and then you screw in um, the studs or the cleats. One of the issues with our current thing is you're basically you're, you're screwing into an ESS plate which is basically hard plastic which is fine but it's not it's not threaded right it's kind of like if you keep going in and out of the same piece of wood it gets too big it's not as tight as you want so we made these pre-threaded yeah, piece of wood yeah exactly <laughs> yep. so so that's this Thing here, you also have these in here that you can put in all sorts of studs if you want even more traction. But this boot's amazing. What's up out there, addicts? We're here at the 2019 iCast show, and I can't be more excited that these rods have finally launched into the Northwest market. And I don't think we could have had a better guy to help design these things. A lot of you guys in the Northwest, you probably know who Josh Cooper is. He's worked for a lot of different rod manufacturers, but the dude's a freaking genius when it comes to designing salmon and steelhead rods and just rods in general. So let's talk about like what makes these things freaking badass. I'm excited. So basically we started ground up uh, using materials that, that uh, Okuma's never used before, Torre materials. Uh, this particular one's made of a T800 fiber. Uh, this is our X-Series that we're talking about. Uh, T800 fiber, my favorite fiber to use uh, for higher end rods. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to cut a lot of, a lot of uh, material down and you can keep a lot of durability and, and a lot of stiffness and, and sensitivity with these, with that fiber. Uh, the handles all slim down. Slim down. Like not, I think of this series, nothing like Okuma's ever done before. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's absolutely nothing like. They pulled out all the stops and spared no expenses, basically. One of the most comfortable real seats I've ever held in my hand. It fits really nice in your hand. The one thing about it is when I came over here and picked them up and was like, Dude, the, they don't weigh any. Yeah. Like they're so, they, I feel like I could put a balloon on this thing and float it into the air. I'll put these up against any rods on the market for weight, for what they are, for the, for the line rating and length, uh, any rods on the market. That's how The other thing I really like is this is the nine, this is basically the spinner rod, but you nailed the balance on these things. Like there's no tip heaviness to them. They're just perfectly balanced. A lot of that has to do with the eyes and everything that you've right. done to it, right? Right, all titanium guides, uh, the lightest, thinnest insert of, uh, available today. Um, which basically, but the nice part about that is, is it's, it's extremely durable. So we're not chipping guides, not silicon carbide, which is very hard. It's still very durable, but light and thin. And another thing that we did is we wrapped the, the guides on with carbon. So these guides are actually wrapped on with carbon. Uh, makes it like 30% stronger and lighter. Um, that's something not a lot of guys are doing right now. And, and, and Super very, strong. Yep, very, very strong. No issues. Uh, with with it uh, breaking down over time. Absolutely. So. Let's talk about models. What did you decide to like roll with on models? So basically, we started. I tried to offer some feedback. Yeah, yeah. You, you, we we got some stuff that you guys yep. wanted, and, yep. and then there's probably going to be more to come. Uh, started out with a, a twitching rod, so a seven six twitching rod. Have to have it, especially this year for coho. Uh, a nine foot one, or I'm sorry, nine foot three inch casting and spinning. That's all going to be eight to fifteen. Uh, then we did a nine foot uh, a nine foot nine inch 
uh, casting sp uh, like spoon spinner spoon rod. rod yep. It's going to be good for spoons and spinners. And then we did a, a nine foot to ten inch uh, float rod. It'll be like a bead rod. That One of my favorite. Rod. Yep, yep. And then the ten six. Um, all eight to uh, eight to seven or eight to uh, sorry eight to fifteen pound line. Yep, eight to fifteen. Yep, yep. So there's going to be room for maybe some summer rod down the down the line and, and maybe some more salmon. Rod. Add a lot more models. I, I see coming a lot more cool models. What about price? Have you guys figured out like what you're thinking on a price point? What warranty wise? What do you yeah, think? Yeah, so like warranty is going to be our our li uh, unconditional limited, lifetime. limited lifetime warranty. Uh, ran through most of the dealers. So it's kind of nice thing is that we can run that, that through a lot of our local dealers. Yeah. And then uh, as far as price goes, it's another price point that uh, Okuma's never hit before. These are very high end, uh, $369 suggested list. And the thing about that, guys, is you got, if you guys have been following along with Addicted or just followed along in the Northwest, the Guide Select Pro has probably been one of my favorite rods that's come out in a long time. And it, what does it retail at? 189 suggested list. 189 on the Guide Select Pro. This is so much far above the Guide Select Pro. It's it's unbelievable. It's basically it's it's like building a Ferrari. These guys are the factory is has done an undertaking in the in their manufacturing process. Has changed a lot of things, and so these are these are hand built like building a Ferrari. <laughs> I can't wait to get more of these things on the water and go catch some steelhead on them. I'm super excited. Make sure you guys check out the Okuma X-Series. When are they going to be in stores? Uh, Twitch and Rod will be in stores September 1st and around 1st to middle of November for the rest of them. Check them out, guys. Okuma X. I'm so freaking excited. That's going to get so murdered by steelhead. Look at that material move in the water. Yeah, it's really good. It's unreal. God, those shapes look good. They look so good. What do you think, dude? I think they look amazing. Hey everybody, this is Jordan with the Addicted Fishing Crew. Our sixth product that we're coming at you guys with is something that we've all been waiting for for a long time, and it's the Addicted Balsa Flow. Hey, what's going on, addicts? Thanks so much for tuning in. We're at iCast 2019, and we're super excited to announce some new products that you yeah. guys are coming out with, man. What did you cook up? Oh, man, all great things, of course. So we entered the game about three years ago with our freshwater line, which is tailored to fly fishing, wade fishing, uh, bass fishing, and certainly salmon fishing. And we're building upon that collection with more technical gear. And to kind of kick that off, we've got a couple things to show you. The first is two new fillet knives coming in February of next year. And these are bigger game, saltwater specific fillet knives. Okay. So what you're going to see is all salt water and moisture and corrosion resistant sheaths here. There's no fabric or anything that's going to get uh, corroded and whatnot. And then you've got here, really exciting, a full blown sushi knife, right? So we're calling this the slicer for now. It's nine and a half inches. It's designed with sushi chefs. So when you go pick up your tuna and you're coming in and you're hungry and you want to feed your friends, your dockside, you can do a proper preparation of that meat. So what really stands out about this guy is two things. One, the ergonomics and the balance of the product is perfectly balanced right on top of that logo, right? That's designed by Sushi wow. Life Chef uh, Insights here. And what's great about this thing too is these etchings. So what that does is it breaks the vacuum that naturally occurs inside those big moist fish so you can get nice, simple, clean, clean cuts. Clean cuts, yeah, and that thing's awesome. I'm stoked. February. The other guy here is also for your big game, and this is the scimitar. And this is the one I'll be <laughs> filleting all my salmon and steelhead with now yeah, going yeah. forward. You know when you pull in that gigantic yep. chinook and you're like, no basic fillet knife is gonna cut it? Yep. This thing is gonna cut it, right? Yeah. So this thing's huge. It's a giant swooping blade, great for carving any kind of big fish, chunking, whatnot. And how's the flex on it? It's good, it's gonna be really a little perfect. stiffer, yep. little stiffer than most of your basic fillet knives, but that's on purpose so you get clean chops, yep. right? Which you don't want. You've also got that etching in there which breaks the vacuum as we're going along. So all that stuff, salt water corrosion resistant, mirror polish finished, rubber over mold grip, full tang construction. So you're getting, this is a real knife from a knife company. Exactly, you know? and the thing I like about it too is just the handle is really, really comfortable. I can tell like when I'm gonna turn, it just feels nice in yeah. your hands. Yeah. Easy to control. So those are really exciting. Two new fillet knives. What else, dude? We've also got some new additions to our pliers. These are the Magna pliers. A lot of guys have seen these in the uh, market today. If you're out yep. at Buoy 10 last year with the Attics, then you saw these in action. What we've done this year, we've added these two new tips. So now you can get these in needle nose, 
you can also get them with split ring. And what's cool about this is all of the bolt assemblies are on the outside of the jaws, so it's super easy to swap these out, them out. as you go through the season. So if you're split ring on your bait and lure for tuna, and then you're moving to go wading, fishing for salmon, or you can do some other stuff, put your normal pliers on, whatever That's you want. That's perfect, dude. Yeah. And I know a lot of you addicts out there, the first thing a lot of these guys were saying is, hey, why isn't there a split ring totally. on those pliers? <laughs> so guess what? There's a split ring now. Coming soon. Coming soon. When yep. are these coming? February? Those June? are going to be February as well. Yep. Sweet. And you can find the other replacement blades on gerbergear.com right now. Sweet. So last guy here, and this is going to be a little specific for our kind of smaller boat anglers or our kayak anglers, but we've got our braided line cutters here. These connect really well to our tether system. These are the Defender tethers. And what's awesome about this is this ring right here for your pinky. So when you have your tool out, the tension from the tether is connected to your pinky, not to the tool you're using, which lets you use the tool properly. That is money. Yeah. You can also lock this out, so if you want to have it at easy access like that, or your fish gripper or something, you can hang it easily. But the one thing that was missing that we've added this year is an H-rack mount. So any kind of standard H-rack mount, this is going to come onto with a simple twist of the dial. And it's going to go right onto your uh, side of your boat or onto the side of your kayak, and now you can have at hand for you and or all your clients, your scissors, you can have your nippers, you can put your fish slipper on there. All your stuff is totally retractable and connectable for you, and that's why we call it the Defender, yep. because it defends from you losing your stuff in the water. And there's nothing worse than like when you got a heavy piece of tool or something on you, and there's, you know, there's all those dumb little clips that like hang down, and they don't hold your stuff, and so that's why I love these things. I got them clipped all over me, I look yeah. like I'm like some in space or something <laughs> with all these tools on me, but they're just so convenient. Yeah, yeah. And like Cameron said, you guys know, these scissors will legitimately yes. change your life. There's no scissor on the planet that cuts braid yeah. like this, in my opinion. It's so. incredible. They are, the amount of engineering that went into something so simple is incredible. And you can see the difference when you're out in the field. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. make sure you guys check this stuff out. Available in February. I'm yep. sure in all sorts of stores you'll be able to see them. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. We'll see you on the river. What's up guys? We're done. And I don't care what you guys all say, but I really hope you all can come out and support our addictive brand because this this crap is work. Ah, we caught some tarpon, we caught some snook, but this crap is freaking work, isn't it? It was gnarly, but it was a lot of fun and we're blessed to be here and excited to be here. And thank you so much for supporting and we would not be here without you guys. So these products we created not only for you, but for ourselves to be able to get out and catch more fish with them. So stay tuned and buy them when they hit the stores. Thank you guys.